Hi there, welcome back. The essential title template is getting better and faster with more features, animations and controls. It has become one of my favorite effects in DaVinci Resolve. As I start using it more and more, I also find myself adding more and more to it. If you haven't seen the previous video of essential title, you can click the link up here. Or find the link in the description below. Today I will show you the new additions in the essential title template. The most important change in this update is the performance. I didn't notice the issue in the old template until I tried creating a long title. To see the differences before and after the fix, I have put two essential title clips in the timeline. The first one is the old essential title, and the other is the new one. Both have four text lines, which are considered as long titles. To compare the results, I disabled the playback cache and enabled the show all video frames. The old title, without the fix, runs at 2 frames per second, even without any animation effects enabled. And the new title plays at full speed, 30 frames per second. I'm very pleased with the result, it's basically the same performance as the Text Plus tool. The Text Plus tool in DaVinci Resolve has a layout tab that allows us to change the title layout. All the main control parameters are now available in the layout group on the first tab. We can change the type from point to circle or path. With the Fusion Overlay enabled in the viewer, it's easy to adjust the circle or path layout. For the circle type, we can change the width of the circle with this width control. Or change the parameter value directly in the inspector. For a path layout, on-screen control is the only way to create a path. Make sure the Fusion Overlay is enabled, Click in the viewer to start creating the path. We can use the context menu to change the editing mode. Select modify only if we don't need any more control points. Or insert and modify to allow inserting points on the path and modify existing ones. As I mentioned in previous videos, Fusion keyboard shortcuts are mostly not working in the edit page viewer. I would rely on the right-click context menu to do the commands if needed. For example, to smooth or linear the control points. The handles on each side of a point can be dragged to adjust the curve. Dragging the handle while holding the command or control key will change one side only. Once the path is done, choose the mode Done from the menu to mark the path is complete and avoid future changes. Change the position on path to shift the text display on the path. We can keyframe this parameter to create an animation of text moving along the path. The perspective parameter works together with the rotations, allowing us to add or remove perspective when the text is rotated. Another change made in the first tab is this new row of six preset buttons. They don't really do much, just to show the possibility of changing colors and styles by simple clicks. There is a minor change in element 4 and 5. A level option is now available for changing how the background or border is applied to the text. The next change is this new transform tab, where all the transform controls are exported here for additional ease of use. It's basically a replication of the transform tab in the text plus node. 
With these controls, we can transform the text in 3D dimensions to any way we want. The transformation can be applied by characters or by words and by lines. Now coming to the animation tab, we have quite a number of changes and new animation effects added to the title template. This text mask option at the top is used to enable and disable a mask, so the text is restricted to the defined area. We can use the on-screen control to resize the mask. For example, if we turn on the slide in animation, the text will slide into the view from the mask border, instead of the screen border. We can also adjust the slide in distance, so the text starts right from the border. To have a rising up title, we can set the angle to 90 and change the distance accordingly. When this option is turned on, all animations will be limited to the mask area. In the animation in section, there are three new effects added. The first one is the swing effect, it swings the title into the view. The axis option defines which direction the text swings. Axis Y swings horizontally. X swings vertically. The angle parameter controls at which angle the swing starts. We can adjust the angle to make the title invisible at the start. Here is another way to adjust a parameter value with arrow keys. Set the input focus to the field, move the cursor to the digit you want to change with left or right keys, and use the up and down arrow keys to change the value. If we set the ease out curve to bounce, elastic or back, we can have some very cool swing animations. When we set the angle to a positive value, the title will swing up from the bottom. The pivot X, Y and Z parameters are used to define the swing point in 3D dimension. A negative Z pivot value means the point is behind the title. And a positive value sets the point in front of the title. Once the Z pivot is changed, we may need to adjust the angle and reset the start position. When we change the pivot point, the results can be very different and interesting. Set the axis to Y, we will get a horizontal swing animation. Similarly, we can play around the parameters to get different animation effects. By default, the motion blur is set to zero, increasing the value will add motion blur to the swing effect. The character fade-in effect fades in the character randomly. Similar to the drop-in effect we discussed last time, we can change the order the characters fade in. Or the delay frames between each character. If we set the ease in curve to elastic, we can get a very dynamic fade-in animation. The character rotate is a simple effect that rotates characters 360 degrees. I usually combine it with other animate in animations. For example the fade-in effect. Or the drop-in effect. In the Animate Out section, we now have all the effects corresponding to the ones in the Animation In section. They all work similarly, but in an opposite way, instead of getting the title into the view, they get the title out of the view. For example, the Dropout effect. By default, 
the characters drop down and disappear from the bottom. Or the fade out effect. We can set the ease out curve to elastic for a more dynamic animation. In the last loop section, the previous random position effect is renamed to camera shake. The text swing is now converted to an animation in 3D dimensions. Not only can we swing the text along the Z axis, we can also swing the text along the X and Y axis. Or we can swing the text in all directions. The three text rotation effects are now combined together into one effect. We can use the speed controls to enable or disable the rotation on different axes. Like other 3D dimension effects, the pivot point control parameters allow us to change the rotation pivot point, which enables a lot more possibilities. For example, we can set the text layout to a circle. And set the Z rotation speed to 1. Changing the speed to a negative value can reverse the rotation direction. If at the same time we enable the Y rotation, and set the Z pivot to minus 0.2. We now have a really cool animation effect. You may have noticed that some of the effects are marked with asterisks. These effects are all using the text plus follower to create character level animations, and they usually take more time to render, especially for longer titles. Except the wave and random size effects, which are marked with two asterisks, all the others will not work at the same time, even if they are all checked. If you want to have a title that looks like it has two or more of these effects, you can either create copies of the title and set different effects on them. Or simply split the title clip and enable the desired effects on each of them. For example, we can set the character fade in effect for the first part and set the character fade out for the second half. Or set drop in for the first one and drop out for the second one. All right, that's all for today. I hope you will like this template and please leave comments if you have questions and suggestions. Thanks for watching and see you next time.